I went to my local Sephora today and I picked up the new Makeup by Mario, what is it? <laughs> Soft Sculpt Transforming Items that launched. I was very intrigued by these. It seemed like an innovative product. I watched multiple of his demos and I like still kind of quite don't know what to do with this product. So that's what we're gonna test out today. When I did go into store, I did take a picture of all of the colors. The lighting in Sephora is terrible. So everything looks a lot darker than it is. But I thought in general, the items at Sephora did look darker than I thought they would be. The lightest shade, which was light, I thought looked like would be my shade, but I'm also light medium. And then Makeup by Mario in his videos also said that these are gonna look darker than they appear on the skin. So really long story long, I picked up shades light and light medium in both the Skin Perfector and the Skin Enhancer. So let's get to it. We're gonna start off with the Skin Enhancers first. This is the product that I'm the most curious about because I saw him use it on one person as almost like a foundation and then I saw him use it on another person as almost more so of a bronzer and the way he described it it was like not a foundation I don't know but <laughs> this is the box that the skin enhancer is going to come in it just matches the rest of his makeup line made in Italy and has a 12 month shelf life I know the words are really small but if you do need to take a look at the ingredients here you go so these are going to be $30 each there are six shades with this product and how they describe it online is that it has light coverage and a radiant finish it's a cream formula fragrance free vegan and cruelty free for those of you who need to know that but it says this is a three in one tinted complexion balm so I'm instantly thinking of the Danessa Myricks that just came out that warms and nourishes with sheer coverage to even out the appearance of the skin tone and then he also talks about you know how it like warms it but how can it even it I don't know so I didn't put any concealer or anything on so we're just gonna see how this acts on the skin see what we can get out of it <laughs> so I did pick up like I said two shades light and light medium they're gonna come in this packaging right here it has a frosted cover and here is the back on the back it says this is an all-over warming complexion tint let's do it let me show you the shades turning the light down so you can see all of what I'm working with so this is the shade light and I wasn't sure when I bought this like how exactly this was supposed to be used so I thought I'd get it because it looked a little dark okay let's touch it huh, yeah it does feel very very creamy you can see it doesn't feel powdery at all but it definitely melts as your finger gets in there this looks like my skin tone okay We'll see, but it does have like a bronziness to it. Oh, and do you see that? It has a sheen. Let's look at light medium. This is the shade I was originally going to get if I had to just order online. Feels really nice. This looks like more of a bronze shade for me. From what I'm picking up, this seems to be like, you can use this however you want. So maybe you could get multiple shades of this, but you see that kind of sheen that it gives off. So I'm just gonna try a brush. Makeup by Mario, of course, recommends his brush to apply this, but I, I never buy the brushes. This is a Sigma, can't read it with the glitter, multitasker brush. I don't know. Let's try it. I'm just gonna go for it. So this shade on me, this is light. Not that I want to use it as a foundation, but I'm going to use it to even out like my cheeks and wherever I want the glow and a little bit of coverage. It didn't really add much coverage, but it added a really pretty gloss to the skin. So I feel like while this doesn't give hardly light coverage, this could be pretty just to head out the door like this, you know? Let's see. Okay, that's very pretty. Let me hop into light medium now. I'm gonna use a sponge and I'm gonna focus this because this is a deeper color. So this one actually warms up my skin tone and it actually leaves a shade behind. Okay, this is definitely probably the correct shade if you have the intention of using this as more of like a bronze if you have my skin tone. So had I just ended up with light medium, I would have been happy. Probably didn't need the light shade, but I freaked out in the store because they looked dark. <laughs> Even though Mario warned us that they look darker than they are. Oh, that's pretty. So I don't think I'd use this as foundation because the undertones, they aren't meant to cover or anything. They're more, I see what he means by like bronzy shades. Oh, but that's pretty. And even though it's not a foundation, I feel like I can wear less makeup 
because I don't feel like I need a foundation where I applied the product. So what I'm gonna do is put on a little bit of concealer on the T-zone area where I need a little bit of extra coverage, and I'm gonna use these to kind of complement the rest of the face. So I wanted more of a natural concealer to go with this look, so I chose the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. I'm just gonna use this for the under eyes because the makeup by Mario is definitely too, like, shiny to put there, you know? I'm gonna use my sponge and blend it out. So I think this product is gonna be really great either as you can use it just as like a cream bronzer or to get glowiness to the face on top of full coverage if you would like, or for a more natural, kind of clean girl aesthetic makeup look, do what I'm doing. Because even though I only have concealer on some areas of my face, how naturally pretty and glowy does this look? Oh, this is great, great, great for everyday makeup. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the light shade, not the light medium. And I'm gonna use this, not necessarily to highlight, but since it is a bit brighter, I'm gonna bring it in a little closer to the rest of my concealer. So I'm not keeping it on the outer parts where I want the shadow to be, which is the light medium, but I'm pretty much putting it everywhere else that's not my under eyes. And it gives the skin such a pretty glow. I'm not mad about picking up light, probably didn't need to. Now I know, but I feel like I have a little bit more freedom to do what I want with the light to get that glow that it gives. And then I can use the light medium to kind of bronze the skin and add the depth. That's Gorgeous. Okay, I think this is a pretty innovative product. I think it's really nice. I like it. I don't have a lot of products like this, so I like this. Okay, cool. So now let's get into the next product. Again, something that might take a little bit of research to understand. These are the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfectors. So these are going to be a little bit more expensive. They're $34 each and there are five shades in this one. And he said that this is going to match whatever shade you are in the skin enhancer is what you're going to be in the skin perfecter. This particular product is made in Japan, has a 12 month shelf life. So how they describe this one is also light coverage, radiant finish, vegan, fragrance free, cruelty free. And this is a three in one. So again, that multi-purpose powder to perfect, illuminate, and set for a radiant glow with an airbrush effect on the skin. And again, I probably should have just gotten light medium. Even in store, I was like, I probably don't need the light, but <laughs> I couldn't help myself. So I did pick up the light, which is right here. And you can see this essentially is a bronzer, a highlight, and a translucent setting powder put into one. This one is a little bit easier for me to understand and explain to you guys. And then here's the light medium. Let me put them side by side for you to see the difference in the color. The light medium right here, the bronzer is a lot more warm. And I liked the way that the light looked because I liked how it looked a little bit cooler. So we'll do half and half for both. So for the swatches, I'm just gonna blend them all together. Basically what Mario did and what I am going to use this as, let me show you. So this is the light and the light medium. There is a difference and I think you'll definitely be able to see more of a difference if you were to go into just say the bronzers. Let me show you the bronzers. Here's the light bronzer and then here's the light medium. Yeah, so if you went into each individual product, you'll be able to see more so of the difference. But essentially you use all three powders mixed together all over the face and then where you want more glow setting or bronze you use a smaller brush individually like for me i'm going to use a translucent powder under my eyes i'm going to use if i want a little extra bronze after i set the face i'll go into the bronzer portion so that's what we're gonna play with today and clean off my brush. Now, if you are digging in to specific parts of the powders, there's very, very little room. You're gonna have to use very little brushes. So I'm gonna use the translucent powder first on my under eye. And inevitably, you're gonna get some of that glow, which I don't really like because as I'm trying to set my under eye, you can see the shimmer got in there and this does not look good. <laughs> that kind of made it look really dry. And I tried to just get in here and I think it has a glow anyways. So that was not a good move on my part. Probably wanna set with a separate powder, but I wish there was like a bigger portion of the setting powder that was a little bit more matte. So shimmer under the eyes isn't cute, my mistake. <laughs> we'll play around with the other side. Okay, let's blend all of them together. This is the light, right? And I'm gonna use this to just set the whole face. Well, on this side. We'll see if there's a difference between the light and the medium. It's really, really shimmery, you guys. 
I don't know if I like that as an all over powder because you can see it emphasizing the pores. Maybe on the outskirts of the face, but on the inner portion, the highlight in the center here, I think it's just a bit too strong. I think it should have been as small as the translucent powder, like almost switch these because if you have perfect skin, I'm sure you'll like it. But for us girls that have pores and texture and acne, it's not the most flattering, but we'll move forward. Let me find some smaller brushes. Okay, so I'm gonna go into just the bronzer portion. I'm really having to use my brushes differently. This is a highlight brush for me, but I am using a highlight brush to get more bronze in, and that did add that extra definition. So I set the face, and I wanted more definition, so I went in with a small brush, and this powder allowed for that. I'm gonna mix these two now, same brush. Get myself a little bit more of a glow. I mean, that's pretty. I have a very pretty glow to my face. It's just a bit much in the center of my face. So I'm gonna try it with the light medium now. I don't know if I should try and set my under eyes. I just don't think this sh should set the under eyes. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna... This one is like a little turned to the side. So we're on light medium. I'm just gonna get the top. It's shimmery, right? Yeah, this one has a bit more of a pink color. Oh, that looks so bad. <laughs> but the setting powder here is more pink in the light medium. Yeah, this is more of like a highlight, not really a setting powder. He said it was a translucent setting powder. That does not look like a translucent setting powder. That straight up was like a highlight for me. So keep this away from setting the under eyes or the T-zone if you're porous in that area like me, which is fine. You live, you learn. Let's Get it all in on the brush. And I'm gonna start off in the outer parts of my face. And this is gonna be a little bit more intense on my skin tone. But that actually is really pretty the way I did it. So as long as you keep it outside of this area right here, just in general, neither of these products look good right in here, but on the outskirts of the face, looking really pretty. I need to put some powder on there. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go into the bronzer portion. This one is actually like bronze. So for me, honestly, it might be pretty if we mix both of these. Yeah, I like that. I could probably even go in with a bigger brush now. Ooh, the bronze on this is really pretty. You can tell a complete difference in how much more warm the light medium is. I like both though. You know, if I wasn't extra, I'd probably just buy light medium. I think this one gives me a little bit more of a bronze. So the light will work pretty well on very light skin tones. It's just a different look, but it's very, very pretty. But I need to set the center of my face. Okay, I do like this product. I did use it horribly wrong though. If you couldn't already tell, if you have model perfect skin, maybe you could get away with setting it, your face with this. But if you don't have perfect skin, I would not set the center of the face with the perfecter powders. Just kind of use it to give an all over glow and then to go in and bronze and add extra shimmer where you want. And then same thing with these skin enhancers. You want to keep it away from the center of the face, but if you work from the outside, it looks really good. Because I have very minimal complexion product on. You saw I just used concealer in the center of the face and then I let the enhancers do the rest of the work on the outskirts. And you literally can't even tell that I don't have any foundation on right now. So it actually is really great for keeping keeping the layering of products minimum. Mario likes that monochromatic-ish kind of look. So I'm gonna go in with the light medium enhancer. Gonna start this off with the bronze in the crease. If I'm not looking at my pores, I do feel like I have like very pretty glowy model skin. And this is really pretty in the crease. I'm going into the light medium perfecter into the bronze shade. So you can get an eye look out of this. It's not gonna be wham bam or anything, but it's gonna keep it pretty natural. Put some on my lower lash line. Then let's see what the gold in the light looks like on my lid. Okay, so you definitely can use this as eyeshadow. It will be subtle. It's not gonna be like a pigmented eyeshadow by any means, but you get a little something. I'm using the white shade. 
Hmm. Okay, that actually looks really good. Look at my skin. I'm like not looking at this, but the rest of my skin looks really good. It would be best if I redid my makeup probably knowing what I know now, but I'm just gonna try and go through with a little bit of matte powder in this area right here and finish the rest of my makeup and I will be back to give you my final thoughts on these. All right, so here is the final makeup look. One thing I wanna talk about, I did use the Makeup by Mario Creamy Peach it's a powder blush just on the apples of the cheeks and you can see all of the glow from the products underneath popping through. I think it's very beautiful even though this is pretty much a matte blush. There's a little bit of sheen to it. You can definitely see the sheen from these items that I talked about today popping through and I think it's really pretty. My skin looks really nice. Let's start off with the skin enhancer. So this truly is what I would describe as a tinted balm. It's not a fancy word for foundation like some other brands do. This is not a foundation. I do recommend maybe applying a foundation first because these tinted balms will go over a full coverage foundation if you want the colors that these give you or you can do what I did today, put concealer in the center of the face and then use the tinted balms just on the outsides and it will look very even and pretty as well. It won't look like, oh, she put coverage in the center of her face and then that was it. I think it looks really complete throughout. So I think it's a really nice product used either way. For my skin tone, I do recommend just going ahead and picking up light medium though I'm happy that I did pick up lights because I think it gives a little bit more versatility of what I can do with this product because I think this was still very pretty just to give a glow to the skin so even if I don't want to use it to like sculpt or bronze per se it's pretty to add that warmth and glow to the outskirts of the face it will be a great way to transform a fully matte foundation to add a little bit of glow to the face so I really like these I think these are a neat product I think they're very unique I don't have a product quite like this and the performance of them was really really nice the skin perfectors the little triple powders now that I know how to use them I like them more don't set the center of your face with these you're gonna have to go in with a different powder unless you have perfect skin but a lot of us have texture and pores. I did leave what I put down, but I did use a powder foundation over the center of my face and it made it look a lot better, though I think I'd look a lot better if I hadn't have made that first mistake. But I think these do make really pretty kind of all over powders as long as you keep them away from the porous areas. It does give a really pretty glowy look to the skin, not glittery, which I think is really nice as well. And because of the three different shades, you still have versatility of where you can put it on the face. Like I did notice when I did just dip into the bronzer, it really did make my skin bronze. When I did just dip into the center highlight shade, that did give me a golden glow. When I did just dip into the lightest shade. I would use it as highlight, honestly. He describes it as a translucent setting powder. I think it's too glowy for that. But anyways, I still think it is a very, very nice product. And I think the glow that it gives on the skin is really pretty. I stepped out onto my deck to see the makeup in the sun and how the glow looked and it looked really nice. If you have oily skin, be a little careful because this is a really glowy product, but if you have dry skin or you just like a really glowy look, I think you will enjoy these products. And I hope this video helped you kind of figure out how to use it. But overall, the quality on these are very nice. There might be slight learning curves here or there to figure out how to best use the product for you. But once you figure it out, I think that these are really nice products and they're different. And that's what I'm really happy about. And I think these are really great additions to Makeup by Mario's line. Again, you can see this line was curated by a professional makeup artist, one of the best out there in the industry, and I'm really happy. I'm gonna continue playing with these. These are really great summer products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.